everyone, my name is Ariana. I hope you're having a wonderful day today. Uh, if you do not know my face, well then welcome to my channel. And if you do, well then welcome back. I would like to ask if all of us could just make a collective effort to ignore this humongous pimple on my forehead. That would just be very much appreciated. Today I'm gonna to be talking about vitamin E oil. I'm gonna be going into what is vitamin E oil, what it's used for, and how I've implemented it into my daily routine as of recently. So vitamin E oil is basically a group of fat soluble vitamins derived directly from vitamin E. I know it's kind of redundant, but it also has a lot of potent antioxidants that help to fight free radicals. Vitamin E oil can be applied directly to the skin or it can be consumed orally and that has its own health benefits but today we're only going to be talking about how a vitamin E oil pertains to the skin and if you guys want to see an entirely separate video on the other health benefits of vitamin E oil I would be more than happy to do so but let's get into the skin. Before implementing vitamin E oil into your everyday skin routine it is very important to either consult a doctor or a skincare expert because it could be potentially irritating to your skin, you could be allergic to it, it can be comedogenic so if you are prone to acne it can also cause acne flare-ups, so just beware of that. So some of the numerous health benefits that vitamin E oil can do for your skin is it's very, very moisturizing. It can help to heal wounds. It can help to prevent cancer because when applied, it is able to shield the skin when exposed to large quantities of ultraviolet light. It can aid in temporary relief from itchy skin, eczema, psoriasis. It can help to minimize the appearance of scarring. It can help to treat fine lines and wrinkles. It can help to prevent and sunburns and I'm assuming this has to do with the ultraviolet light that we talked about earlier. So why I decided to implement it into my skin is because I've mentioned this numerous times on my channel. I am currently rehabilitating my skin from having had dealt with very severe hormonal cystic acne. It affected basically like all over my cheek area and I was left with a lot of hyperpigmentation and a lot of indented scarring. So one of the main things I wanted to help with was basically minimizing the appearance of that scarring. My skin is also very dry. It flakes around my nose and like around my chin area. And after researching vitamin E oil and learning about its numerous benefits, I decided to purchase this specific one from Erewhon. Um, it's a local market, but I assume you could probably find it on Amazon. I've also seen it at Sprouts and Whole Foods. The reason why I got this one is because it says it's 45,000 IU. I'm not 100% what that number stands for, but there was this one and then there was one that had like a lesser IU and it came in a bigger bottle so I'm assuming it's the potency of it. If anyone in the comments wants to clarify what exactly that number stands for, please enlighten me. It says maximum strength on this one so again I'm just kind of assuming that it has to do with the potency of the oil. This one specifically said it can be used for your skin, for hydration, help fight lines and wrinkles. Amazing. So I purchased this one. I want to say it was about $20. As you can see, I didn't use a lot of it. This one is very, very thick consistency. You really don't need that much. This much will cover your face. You just kind of got to warm it up to you see how like much that covered my hand. Yeah, you really don't need that much. A little goes a long way. So I began to use this oil only at night because it does give you a very slick, oily texture on your skin. I didn't want to like walk around the day looking like I was just greased up. So I figured it would be best to implement this in my skin at night after I apply my tretinoin, specifically because tretinoin is known to like dry out the skin and give you extra flakes. So I basically substituted my moisturizer for this since it is super thick and it is very hydrating. So I just washed my face like normal, apply my tretinoin and apply this oil and then just go to bed and then wake up and my skin would be super, super hydrated. I noticed almost instantly that the flakiness around my nose and around my mouth was pretty much gone and it did not come back up until the point that I discontinued the use of this oil and the reason for that is it broke me out. I noticed almost instantly, like within the first couple of days, that some pimples were showing up and it started off as like just little white heads here and there and I know that oftentimes when we implement new products into our skincare routines, sometimes our skin will go through what is called a purging process, but it was very clear eventually that this was not the case because the pimples started getting bigger, more painful, and more frequent. And the only new 
new product that I was using in my routine was this vitamin E oil. So I did notice that my scars did fade a little bit. It did help with the hyperpigmentation ever so slightly. However, I only used the product for two weeks and I saw very minimal improvement. And in my opinion, it wasn't enough for the sacrifice that I had to make for continuing to break out because I would just find myself in this vicious cycle where I was improving the scarring, but then I was getting more acne that would potentially lead to more scarring. So I just ultimately decided that I'm not no longer going to use the vitamin E oil and I'm going to look for maybe some other non-comedogenic natural remedy to treat my scarring. This might not be the case for everyone. I do remember being in college and not having as sensitive acne prone skin and I was able to use vitamin E oil. I think I'm just now at a point in my life where my skin is very reactive to pretty much anything I put on it. So unfortunately, I will be no longer using this oil. But if you guys happen to use vitamin E oil and you guys happen to like your results or not like your results, any results you may have, I would be more than happy to hear them. If you have any suggestions on potentially other natural remedies that can help with scarring or fight acne, I would love to hear about those as well. I'm always open to taking suggestions and that pretty much concludes this video. I hope you guys have a a wonderful rest of your day and I hope to see you next time.